Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here, and welcome to your very first PHP tutorial. And this has actually been one of the most requested tutorial series for my channel, and I'm happy to announce it's finally here. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what PHP is, then let me explain. PHP is a server-side scripting language for the web. So what that means is that all of the code is run or executed on the server, which allows us to do some really cool stuff, like work with a database and store information to make for a really interactive or a really clever website. But you guys didn't just come here to listen to me talk about PHP. You want to actually start writing some code. But before we get started, there are two things you guys have to do first. Now the first one you guys may already have, and that is a basic knowledge of HTML. So if you guys don't know HTML, you are probably not going to uh, follow along with this series so well. Okay, so don't worry, I have a solution. If you go back to my channel, there is a complete series on HTML already. So go ahead and watch that. And when you finish with that, come back here and start with the PHP series again and you'll do just fine. The second thing you guys are gonna have to do is install PHP on your computer so that you can actually run or test the code that we are going to write in this series. So what you guys are gonna have to do is download and install a program called XAMPP. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open my browser. And my internet's a little bit slow, so bear with me. And we're gonna go ahead and Google XAMPP. Okay, and right at the top, you should get a link um, to apachefriends.org. This is the website you're gonna want to go to. And you wanna gonna wanna go to uh, this link over here, XAMPP for Windows. Unless you guys have a Mac, then you're probably gonna wanna uh, install a Mac or Linux. But most of us are probably on Windows, so most of us are probably gonna wanna click on this link over here. Now, as you can see, uh, here you'll get a whole bunch of information based on uh, what version of uh, XAMPP this is. So right now it's got uh, PHP version 5.4.22. And uh, if you guys wanna download this, you're gonna have to uh, go to SourceForge. So here's the link over here. This is actually quite a long um, series of links. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put the SourceForge link in the description below. So just check the description of the video and uh, you should find the SourceForge link. And now we can just go ahead and click download. Okay, so it should start downloading in a few seconds. I'm gonna save it. Okay, so while that's downloading, I think I'll just pause the recording. Okay, I'm back and the program finished downloading. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just run the install, which uh, can be found over there. And that's fine. Uh, I know it's just asking me, do I really wanna run this file? So I'm gonna go ahead and just click run. I know it's safe. And then I'm gonna click next. So I'm gonna leave all of these things as default as I run through the install. And I'm gonna go next, uh, leave that as default again, next, next, and it opens this other page in my browser, well, that's okay. Go back to the install, click next, um, and I guess these are just uh, extra add-ons that you can put onto your computer to make it more like a server and you can run these programs that are usually on a web server. But this is probably going to install for a few minutes so I'm just gonna pause the install and come back when it's done. 
Okay, I'm back and it's almost finished installing. Now I realize, I think I said, I've, I'm going to pause the install. What I meant to say was, I'm gonna pause the recorder. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this as uh, ticked for now. And that means that uh, the program's gonna finish. I mean, the program's gonna start when I click finish. So uh, there we go. Now we have XAMP on our computer. And uh, if I go ahead and I click the start button next to Apache and the start button next to MySQL just to make sure that everything starts and runs, okay? This means that we can now use our computer to run PHP code. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. And if you guys wanna check that everything worked correctly, go ahead and open up your computer and go to the C drive and inside your C drive you should see a folder here called XAMP. Okay, now that means that the program has installed in the right place and uh, if you guys can't find this file then that means you did something wrong in the install and you have to come go back and watch the video again just make sure that you did everything correctly but by default it should be here. Okay and if we open up that folder, you'll see there's another folder called htdocs, okay? This is where all of the websites that we're gonna make with PHP have to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up that folder. And as you can see, there are quite a few default folders in this directory already. Now, we're just gonna leave those as is, don't delete them. And we can create a new folder. And seeing as this is a tutorial series, you guys can just create a folder called tutorials or something like that. And in here is where we can uh, save all of our PHP code. So I'm actually gonna save all of that for the next tutorial. So come back in the next tutorial and you'll get to actually start writing some PHP code. And as always, don't forget to subscribe Please feel free to leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.